Hello YouTube, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be talking about baffles and breathers, and it's a simple video, but I see this common on a lot of different applications with engines. Um, people call me all the time to diagnose a problem, and they'll have um, what they think is rings or valve stem seals, and it's actually in the crankcase ventilation. For a proper crankcase ventilation, we wanna pull air from one side of the engine through the engine out the other side. So we'll discuss what's the proper way to do crankcase ventilation. Also, how are you gonna take care of baffles? These indie valve covers made for a race car, so they don't put holes in either side, but you can. They put little humps right here for baffles. They don't come with baffles. So what are we gonna do? If you need some baffles, look up our eBay store. We have these um, RPC baffles. You can get these anywhere else. I don't wanna say anywhere else, but if you have difficulties getting them, you know where to get them. Um, so here's this little baffle. You don't just put a hole. One of the things that I see people is, okay, I gotta have breathers on. They'll pop a hole and put a breather on their valve cover. Awesome. I'm using these breathers. These are actually a mock-up set. I got a brand new set coming in for this motor. I like these for a sense that we gotta have a PCV valve. So on this side is a PCV valve, and on this side is just air, it's just a filter in here. So what does it do? It pulls from here from the intake manifold, it's pulling here, there's a PCV valve in here, you can hear it, goes through the crankcase and this side of the engine. So we have good, good crankcase ventilation to remove the gases that are there by the rings. Um, in a perfect ring, I don't care if you got total seal rings, um, the most best ring you can get, which is a total seal ring, is you're still gonna have gases that go by the rings in a combustion process. No matter how sophisticated of a ring that you get, you are gonna have gases going past the rings. Those gases are gonna be in your crankcase, and we need to remove them. Um, they will actually etch bearings, they'll actually contaminate your oil, there's a lot of bad things about it. This isn't a video of what all the bad things that those gases can do to your engine, but it is on how to put in a proper crankcase ventilation system on your engine. So on one side, it can be as simple as a grommet and a tube going to your air filter. That's what the factory setup did. So on one side, it is essentially just, instead of having a breather, we have a tube here that goes to the air cleaner. It's filtered air, going in, we're not sucking in dirt. So you wanna make sure that you have a filter for the air that's going in. So as simple as a tube to the air cleaner, a tube to an aftermarket air cleaner. Now you're probably thinking, that's why they had this little aluminum piece that goes in the bottom of an air cleaner. That's for your tube. If you don't wanna do that, at least put a baffle. It doesn't have to be a billet one, uh, a filter. It doesn't have to be a billet one. Um, it can be just a pop-in filter up here. So any way to get filtered air in is the way to go. On the other side of the valve cover, we want a PCV valve. This has it built in so it looks cool. You can get them with a hole on top and the PCV valve goes on the top. You can get just a grommet and a PCV valve. So you don't need to spend a lot of money. It can be just a grommet and a PCV valve. But here is some of the problems. If we're sucking air out of the valve cover, we're also gonna suck oil. Oil is gonna come out, go into your carburetor, go into your intake manifold, and it's gonna smoke. You're gonna think you have bad seals, you're gonna think you have uh, bad rings, and you don't. It's just sucking in oil from here. So we need a baffle. This little baffle will go inside and this little baffle will keep oil. Any oil that gets up on here, it's pulling vacuum from up here, will drain back and let just air come up. So a baffle is the, one of the most important things that you can add to this. Um, make sure you have your baffles. There is some other ways to do it if you've already got all these done. I have them on our eBay store, we have them up front. And what it is is the grommet that goes here has a little baffle, little rubber baffle with a piece of foam in it. 
it actually works pretty good. If you already have valve covers and you don't have baffles and you don't want to take the time to pull your valve covers off and modify them, you can pull the grommet out and just drop in this special grommet with a baffle in it. And it works pretty good. Okay, how are we going to put these onto here? They have some little nubs there and they're not quite big enough for my liking. So I'm going to make me a little spacer that just is that thickness right there so, and I'm going to weld these inside the valve covers we're going to powder coat the valve covers so I don't mind um, that it's going to I'm going to weld on them it, it doesn't make any difference because I am going to powder coat these so this is the time to be doing it now so I'm going to bring you in a little closer and show you what I'm talking about so here's our valve covers what we're going to do is we're going to put in a breather on one side and a PCB valve on the other side. Like I said, we don't need necessarily this style. I kind of like this style because it has the PCB valve on the inside, but you could just put a grommet and a PCB valve. This is my grommet or my PCB valve. I'm going to drill it for a grommet right there and we're going to put that in. On this side is where the air is going to go in. It has a filter in here. You can unscrew this and clean it, and we're going to drill a hole and put a grommet there as well. Also, is I don't really need a baffle on this side as much as I need one on that side. I'm going to put one on both because you do have splash of oil from the rockers splashing oil up. So we're going to put that in there, and it's real simple. Look at that. Nice little simple baffle that you can add to any valve cover, and then now it won't suck oil out this way. All right, so I'm going to seam some little spacers. Those are going to go down in there just like that, and then that's going to go just like that. So I've got to weld these little tabs in there. Change it up in here instead of having the little aluminum pieces that I machined. I just went ahead and just welded little whatever you want to call them. Pads, Danny. Pads, pads. pads. They, yes, these are pads. I welded some little pads, pads there. P A B S. P yes, pads. pads. All right, I have my little pads welded up. Then what I've done is I've used this right here and just come in and give me some flat spots. And as you can see now, our baffle has some place to be drilled and hold. Now we gotta just make our hole to the size we need. It's 1.250 is what a factory set of off covers, that's what the factory put holes on a set of off covers that I have up front. If you anybody wants to know. And what I suggest is always make the hole smaller. You can always make it bigger. You nobody wants a big ass hole. Well, come on. Come on out people. I shouldn't say nobody. I shouldn't say that. See how it clog up the bit. It's gonna be a coarse bit, it's not gonna be a fine bit. If it's real fine, it's made for steel. If it's coarse, it's made for aluminum. But it will clog up the bit, and you gotta use W40 to get that out of there. Can you see how that just took it all off of there? Got just very little on there now, but it was loaded with aluminum. So the problem is. Remember, yin and yang, this is awesome because you need WD-40, it keeps the bit clean and it machines well. But then you're going to go in here and powder coat. So you're contaminating what you're doing with WD-40, but you just, you know, yin and yang. You got All right.
right. There's our hole. And there's our grommet. Here we go. Said now what we're gonna do on the inside is put this little baby right there, and that keeps oil from being sucked out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and drill two little holes for our self-tapping sheet metal screws, and then we're done. Little bird's eye view. I've gotten the pads flat, I've laid this down, marked it. And I'm just doing them by hand, just because, just because. And the little screws that come with the baffles are actually self tappers. So they'll drill themselves in. So I use a screw that was just slightly smaller so that I can still have a good bite in there. A little WD-40. And I want to do this before powder coating the valve covers. I want to get all this checked out. Watch your eyes, watch your ears, watch something. Alright, so this is just a test fit because I still got to powder coat everything. But there's there's what it should look like. I put it. Okay, here's the valve cover. I have it just mocked up because before I powder coat it, I wanted to test everything. So here's the breather. Turn the engine over about four times and no problems. So there's what we have inside, and there she is right there. So now we have a baffle. We have plenty of room. These are tall valve covers. They clear the rockers which is awesome. And now there's a baffle to keep oil from coming up the breather. Um, one side's gonna be breather and one side's gonna be a PCV valve. And there you go. I'm gonna powder coat these and then we'll put grommets in them and reassemble these. So this is gonna come out now, but there you go. There's the look we're gonna have. I got a little ways to go. This does go in, but being as tight as I am, easy now people, 